Okay. Uh, hello and welcome back to. Uh, actually, that's a terrible introduction. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, so this is a tier list of all the Steam games that I I got and played and got in 2020 last year too. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just like uh, last year. But this time, I'm going to be sorting them based off of not how good I thought the game was, but how emotional the game was, as you can see from these tears that I have here. So anyways, this first game is Zombie Estate 2. Uh, it's a it's a game. It's definitely a game. I, it was like a dollar. It was um, on Steam. And it is a game. And honestly, you move a lot in the game. You have to move in the game to avoid dying to zombies. And that's why it's really fun. I mean, moving. And yeah, this this isn't a tier list about how good things are. Uh, it's about how emotional they are. And yes, you move in this game, so it's it's moving. It fits the category. I see. It does. And next is um. Uh, Tunic. This game, I do not have. I've never played the game. But, but I cried. I cried because when I saw it was on sale, it was only 10% off. And that's not, that's not a big sale. And so it made me sad. And it's, it was very emotional when I realized that it, it wasn't a big, um, uh, the, yeah, that. And the next one is, uh, this is called Everhood. I don't know what it's about. Um, I think I know what it's about. Uh, it's, it's, uh, um, uh, oh man, this is a hard one. I think this one also made me cry because, uh, when I played it, I stopped playing it. And, uh, I cried because I was really hoping, I, I wanted it to be something that I would be interested in, but it wasn't. So I got very emotional afterwards. It is just one of those things where you want to do something, but you can't do, it doesn't let you. And this, uh, this next Steam game, I think we all know what this Steam game is. It's, of course, talking about this, this icon is obviously referring to uh, Walkies, Simple Flips Walkies, the, the series where he tries to get S plus rank without ever pressing the run button. And honestly, I I think I became a better person after after watching playing Walkies on for the Nintendo Steam. Yes, it's a Steam game, and I played it in 22. And uh, I, I really do feel like a better person after playing that game. And because, like, you get really invested in the character arcs. There's, like, a whole Toad arc that... It's still not over, actually. But, uh... Y you'll be a better person if you play it, too. And, uh... <clears throat> this next game I played while in, uh, Academic Boot Camp. And, uh, the character, the character in the game has no emotion. Oh, also the title of the game is called, uh, I think it's Omar. Yeah, I think it's called Omar. I, I got the game. It's a pretty fun game, except for the parts that aren't fun. Because there's a part in the, at the end that isn't fun, because it turns into a walking simulator. But overall, Omar is a pretty emotionless game, because you play as this guy with no emotion, and that's why. And he, he has a knife, I think. Anyways, this next game, um, this game is for the, um, the Steam 3DS. It's called Hey Pikmin. It's, uh, it's actually Pikmin 4. They released Pikmin 4 a little bit half-baked, and, uh, that's why they're making Pikmin 4 again, but... This is like the, the bad version of Pikmin 4. And 
and I can say that I became a worse person after playing Pikmin, Hey Pikmin 4, because, like, um, before playing Hey Pikmin 4 for the Nintendo 3 Steam DS, I never, like, intentionally killed Pikmin, but now I intentionally kill Pikmin because I hate the game so much. But anyways, this next game is, uh, I'm sure we all know about the, the critically acclaimed uh, heptagonal ring by Entropy Wing on the uh, the Steam fanfiction.net. It's uh, of course a very that's a very good game that's on Steam. And it's it's on this uh, weird branch of Steam called the Steam fanfiction.net. Where they're, it's like entirely visual novels if they weren't visual and you had no choice. And it's, so basically, it's just like a text document. And uh, it was a free game, though. So you know, I can't, I can't complain. But uh, yeah, this this game was this was quite riveting. It was a riveting game the entire time. It was it was so funny. I was laughing the whole time. In fact, I was, like, tearing up at times because it was so funny. And then other times I was tearing up because it was so sad. And then other times I was tearing up because I, I couldn't read it anymore. Or play it, play it anymore, I mean, because I didn't, I beat the game. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, it's a good game for the first... It's, it's a Steam game. This next game, um, is called... Um, oh wait, no, this isn't a game, this is a bug. Oh shoot, I didn't... Oh no, this tier list I forgot to put in a... Ignore this section, oh my god. Just like... Oh my god. Pretend, pretend this guy isn't here. But anyways, Risk of Rain 2. It's uh, not Rain World 2, it's Risk of Rain 2. So, um, yeah. Anyways, this next game is called, um, Gear to Slay. It's a it's an exclusive to the Steam Dual Deck, and you know it's an exclusive to the Steam Dual Deck because it's a physical card game, and so you can't play it. It doesn't even show in your Steam profile when you have it. It doesn't have achievements. It's like not digital at all. <laughs> it's just like a box of cards and dice. But I do I do think I became a better person after playing. It's actually like a really short game too, and every single time I beat it, I became a better person. Like the, the box says it's like 30 to 60 minutes, and it's very 30 to 60 minutes. I can say that at most the game took 30 to 60 minutes, and at least it took 30 to 60 minutes. But I can definitely say I became better at uh, deceit and lying and cheating after playing that game so many times. It's a good game. Um, I, honestly, one playthrough just isn't enough when it comes to games for the Steam Dual Deck. But I guess you could get off with only playing the game once, but if you do, you only see like a 10% of the game because the game is like a... It's a roguelike where you get cards, but it's, a, it's shuffled every time because that's what you do in card games. I mean, uh, games for the Steam Dual Deck. But it's a good game for two to six players. And this last game is called uh, Co Hem to Cameron. No wait, no, the camera's supposed to be an O. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's it's to Poem Home, but it's a game where you play as a weird little plague doctor guy, and you take pictures, and you do you do walk around in it a lot. Yeah, you move in it a lot. But there's not really a story in it, so I want to put it in no emotion, but that's not true because there's a lot of emotion in the game. It's, uh, there's cute and emotion. I don't know. So, um, uh, oh my gosh. D does anybody cry in the game? I don't think so. Um, I didn't become a better person after playing the game. I didn't become a worse person after playing the game. It's, uh... It doesn't fit any of these categories. Oh my gosh. Um, shoot, I'm gonna have to do some improv real quick. Uh, dude, 
where's the, uh, where's the add, um, oh, add row above, there we go, um, let's name this row, Toem, and this is, this is the most Toem game I've played of 2022, and, um, oh shoot, I, I just realized, you can add new rows, I can finally get rid of this Bob. Add row below. Uh, oh my gosh, I am not a technical genius. Ignore these. Oh, thank goodness. I was getting really worried. I was honestly really embarrassed. I forgot the ignore these tab. I was, oh my god. But, um, yeah, so if there's anything to learn from this tier list, play the games up here, don't play the games down here. And, um, tell them. Thank you, um, uh, for, uh, looking at, um, the grass outside. Because there's grass now. 